$515. James? $595. $595 is his bid, and now Alice gives me your bid. $995. $995. The actual retail price of that clock is $700. That's your clock. Yeah. Yeah. That James has done it. Now, James, do that. James uh, caused a little excitement during that last commercial message. It seems that he's from South Carolina. Right. And right. a very pretty girl back here yelled that she wanted you to win a car because you're leaving after the show and you're going to drive all night to get back to South Carolina. Right. I said, James, is that your wife? She's over here. He said, no, my wife's over there. <laughs> now, why do girls, strange girls, shout these things, James? You got me, Bob. No. <laughs> I haven't got you. Either that girl's got you or your wife's got you. I don't know which one. But in any event, James, we have acted on that girl's advice. And I am going to give you a chance to win that. A new ah! yeah! A Chevelle Malibu. Smart, complete, mid-size, accessible balance of size and price, beauty, and function. Chevelle Malibu by Chevrolet. It's equipped with body side molding, door edge guards, wheel covers, radial white stripe tires, bumper strip, bumper guards, vinyl roof, AM radio, and color key floor mat. Now, James, as I said, we're going to play a brand new game, and a very important part of that game is Professor Price. Here he is. Now, James, step right up here. Professor... This is James, and James impresses me as being a true Southern gentleman. Don't you think so? Yes, he does. And, Professor, I think you will agree that a young man who has a wife and a girlfriend in the same audience needs all the help he can get, right? Yes. Now, you would like to see him win that car and get back to South Carolina away from the girlfriend or the wife, whichever one he plans to leave, don't you think? Yes. So he's going to help you all he can, and that's good, because he has all the answers. Now, he's going to keep track of your, right, uh, your correct answers on his right hand, and he's going to keep track of your wrong answers on his left hand. Now, what you need are three correct answers, and you win that car. If you have three answers that are wrong before you get three correct answers, you lose the car. Now, the first question that I have for you is right here. The question is, how many ounces in a half pint? No help, audience. No help, audience. How eight, many? Eight ounces. You say eight ounces? He says eight ounces, Professor. Is he right? Yes. You see that finger come up there on the right hand? You're right. Now. I am going to give you a chance to get another correct answer using that eight. Now, there are four digits in the price of that car. Let's show him the last two numbers in the price of the car, please. There they are, a one and a five. Now, is that eight one of the first two numbers in the price of that car, James? Tell me. No. He says, no, the eight is not in the price of the car. Is he right, Professor? No, he's wrong. The eight must be there. Where is that eight? There it is. It's the second number. Now, you have one wrong answer. You have one right answer. You need three right answers to win that car. Next question. Next question is, no help now, audience. In baseball, how many runs would score in what is called a grand slam home run? Four. Four. That's right, James, I think. Professor, he says four. That is right, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Now, James, you have two correct answers. Two. Tell me, is that four the first number in the price of that car? If you're right that it is, or if you're right that it is not, you win the car. No, it is not. He says, no, the four is not the first number. Is that right, Professor? No, that's not right. The four is the first number. Show us that four, please. Okay, the car is $4,815. We know that. But that doesn't mean that you've won or lost the fact that the price is exposed now. This is what's important. Two wrong answers, two right answers. With your answer to this question, James, you are going to decide for us whether you take that car back to South Carolina 
or whether you leave that car here for me to sell on my used car lot after I've driven it a bit myself. Now, audience, do not help because this is a very important question. How many picture cards are there in any one suit of playing cards? See that again? How many picture cards are there? How many face cards are there in any one suit? How many face cards would there be in the heart or the spade, the clubs or the diamond? Three. He says three. Is he right, Professor? He's right. He's right. He's right. He's right. You bet now, Jenny. Just a moment. Yeah. Stick around here for just a moment, Jenny. I know everyone, everyone in South Carolina. Everybody back home in South Carolina wants to know, since I've talked about this girl and your wife, which one are you going to take with you? My wife. Okay, James. Good for you. Now you've met Professor Price. He's going to be around with us occasionally. Right now, we're going to watch this. Price is right. Production number 2571D. And it's take one. Arrives on the scene sobbing to herself. Now, Deborah, there's no reason for you to cry, baby. Everything's going to be all right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Didn't you come to the show hoping to be on the show? Yes. Well, you're on. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you come to the show hoping to win a big prize? I sure did. Did you? Well, yes. Deborah, that's a big prize. A new car! <laughs> A 1978 Nova sedan for people who like a touch of wagon with rear seat down to get over six feet of floor, lots of head space, rear seat up, family ruminous. The Nova sedan by Chevrolet. It's equipped with bumper strips and guards, body side molding, door edge guards, sport mirrors, steel belted radial white stripe tires, rally wheels, wheel opening moldings, air conditioning, and tinted glass, Bob. Now, Deborah, you're going to play a game that has been played only once before on our show. It's a new game, and it begins with you meeting Professor Price. Now, here's the professor, and he's going to keep score for you. He'll have your, right an your correct answers on his right hand and your incorrect answers on his left hand. And to win that automobile, all you have to do is get three right answers before you get three wrong answers. Now, professor, you would like to see Deborah win, wouldn't you? See, he's on your side. She's a very sweet girl, and if... Yes, Professor, she is a very sweet girl. And if she wins that car, you're not going to cry, are you? No. So you'll help all you can, won't you, Professor? No, he can't, he can't help you, you see. All he can do is keep score. You're oh. going to have to win on your own. Oh. Now, let me see what we have here. Draw one of the questions. Anyone. Now, don't look at it. Don't look at it. The answer's on there. That's it. Now... How many stars indicate the rank of a lieutenant general? Four. Four. She says four stars for a lieutenant general. Is she right? No. No. You see that finger down there? That's a wrong answer. It's three stars. Three stars for a lieutenant general. Now, Deborah, I'm going to give you a chance to get a correct answer right now. The four numbers in the price of that car are concealed right up here. Let us see the last two numbers in the price of the car, please. There they are, three, three. Now you tell me, is this three, that was the answer to the question, is that one of the first two numbers in the price of the car, yes or no? No. She says, no, it is not. Is she right, Professor? Yes, it is not. And you have a finger up over here, you see. Now you have one correct answer and one wrong answer. You like this game? Yes. Yes. Now draw another. Don't look at the question. The answer's on the same card. Now, this question is, Washington's picture is on the $1 bill. Yes. On which dollar bill is the picture of Abraham Lincoln? $5 bill. $5 bill is her answer. Is she right, Professor? Yes. And you see that finger pop up there? What'd you say, Deborah? I work with money all day long. Oh, you do? What do you do? I work for a food stamp outlet. 
And so you've seen a lot of $5 bills float through there. All right. Now, you have two correct answers. You have one incorrect answer. I'm going to ask you now whether this five is one of the first two numbers in the price of the car. And, Deborah, if you're right this time, that will be your third right answer. And that car sitting right over there belongs to you. Is the five one of the first two numbers in the price of the car? Yes. She says, yes, it is. Is she right? Yes, she is. Let's see the price of that car. $5,133. Deborah, you have won that car from Professor Brock. Congratulations. Drive safe. Yes, that Professor Price, I have a feeling, is going to become a very popular fellow. We'll have another game for you after we have this for you.